Now we've rolled into 60 days late. And so again, Tom's credit takes an even deeper hit. Your girl bless trust coming back to you with another video and here on this channel we like to go and take our peace and give god the pieces so if you are new to this channel and this is your first time clicking on the channel and you have never seen this face before please allow me to introduce myself my name is martina aka bless trust welcome 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 and if you are already a part of the blessed family welcome back so if you haven't heard the great news, my husband and I, we are currently building a semi-custom home. Yes, we are super excited. To God be all of the glory. And we're so excited that we are documenting this entire process right here on this channel. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, please make sure that you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload. Tom and I got real close. <laughs> I mean, super close to losing this new construction home. And so I want to take you back to 2021. This will be brief, but I want to take you back. <laughs> so what happened was we had to sell our previous home. We sold our previous home back in June of 2021. And then immediately after selling that, that's when we went into contract with Silverthorne. And of course, now that our home is sold, we had to have a place of residence because with new construction, it's gonna be a while. <laughs> so we took up a place of residence here in this apartment where I currently am now, and we knew that it was gonna be at least 10 months. And so throughout the process of moving, what happens is Tom now loses his credit card. Ah! That's when he reached out to the credit card company, let them know like, hey, I lost my credit card in the process of moving. No charges have been made. Nothing's been used, but I just want to report this card as lost or stolen. They gave us a new account number, gave us a new credit card, bada bang, bada boom, we in there. <laughs> and so that was probably back in October when he realized that his card had been lost and when he made that phone call. And so of course, naturally, here we are, it's October and I'm just super excited about the venture that we're on. Future backyard. You like your backyard? So what do I do? I start watching YouTube videos all about people that are building their home and going through the same process that I'm going through. And so that's when I come across a wonderful channel called Missy and Akeem. And they're a couple in Texas and they are building this beautiful home. And so one of the videos, Akeem, who I believe is also a realtor, he talks about how my FICO really saved the money. And it wasn't a sponsored video. I know that, you know, we can all look at those sponsored videos with side eyes. Them being so up to date with his credit score just saved him money on their mortgage payment because it was like the day they went into closing, that's when his credit score changed and he let the lender know and they were able to give him an even better interest rate. So I was like, that's really good. I need to look into this my FICO. And so I did. And I love my FICO. I love that app because it gives you the legitimate scores and it even gives you your mortgage score and it's very accurate. And so that's when I get an alert in November telling us that Tom's credit score had dropped tremendously. And I got three separate alerts because his score had dropped from all three bureaus. And when I say tremendously, I mean his score had dropped anywhere from 60 to 80 points. And this was all in a day. And so I immediately pull up Tom's credit report. And that's when I see that this particular creditor is listed on his report twice. And I'm like, that's odd because he only has one credit card with them. And so what it's showing is that one report is showing stellar. It's squeaky clean, it's accurate. 
he's never been late. He's had it open for this amount of time. It's perfect. And he doesn't use it. <laughs> he has zero balance. And so, and then the other report is showing that like it was opened like around October and how it has this balance and now it's 30, 30 days delinquent. And I'm just like, whoa, I call that creditor and of course they want to do an investigation. Well, in the midst of them doing an investigation, now we rolled into 60 days late. And so again, Tom's credit takes an even deeper hit. Let's get to the bottom of this. Where did this charge come from? Did someone get his credit card and make a charge? And how could that be? He reported the card as lost or stolen. So this is when we find out that what happened was when Tom made the phone call, the representative never closed that account. And the card had never been stolen, but what happened is because the representative never closed that account, that particular card charges you an annual fee to maintain its membership or to maintain that card. And so it just so happens that that was right around a time when that annual fee was coming. And so that card got charged automatically an annual fee. Now we have no access. Once Tom made that phone call, they debited that card on our end. They shipped us a new card, shipped us a new account number. So now we have no access to that account. So we didn't know that this was a fee that was charged to our account. We didn't know that it was just pending and now 30 days and 60 days. Okay, when is this gonna get resolved? What if we wanna lock our rates? We need this score to be up now. So the way that they initially tried to handle it was by closing the account. That's not sufficient because it doesn't show that this was inaccurate and that this was not Tom's doing. It doesn't show any of that. It doesn't even show that it's been resolved. It just says that this account has been closed. And then that delinquency, now 60 day delinquency, remains on his credit report, which still affects his credit score. And here we are now, like in January, um, paying attention to what's going on with the Federal Reserve Board meetings. And I'm just like, okay, I know they're trying to get inflation under control, interest rates are going to be affected, and I knew that they were gonna have an important meeting by March 15th. That March 15th meeting, that that was going to drastically start changing the way mortgage interest rates looked. And so I was just like, I wanna have our rates locked before March 15th. And so I petitioned them to now delete it. That's when they realize, okay, this is really our fault. And so that's finally when they actually just deleted that from Tom's account. And once they deleted it from Tom's account, instantly his credit score is shot back up. And I would say that happened probably like March 10th. And that's when I immediately called our lender and started calling other lenders to get our rate locked. <laughs> and so when I say that, he is an on-time God. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> I just wanted to encourage you that if you are like me, that you are right now having your home constructed and it is gonna be a while. It's gonna be from anywhere from six months to a year before you are in your home. I know that you don't have any intention to make any big purchases, but I implore you, I encourage you, I beseech you, as the Bible would say, <laughs> to please get on some type of credit monitoring system, please. I know that you don't intend to make any purchases and that you are going to leave your credit alone, but I'm telling you, had it not been for one, me seeing Missy and Akeem's video, but then also me joining my FICO, I would have no idea that this happened to Tom's credit. But still, what would have happened had I not had some type of alert system is that March would have came and I would have went to try to lock our rates and they would have pulled Tom's credit and we would have had probably by that time a 120 day delinquency. And our credit or his credit would have been shot. And now we're just like, what? And then I would have had to try to now dig us out of that hole and now try to resolve things. If you think about it, it took us five months to resolve this issue. It just got resolved back in March. 
the alert came to me in November. So that means I probably still today would have been trying to resolve that issue. And so please get on some type of credit monitoring system. I would encourage it to be my FICO because again, they're not giving you a Vantage score. They're giving you an actual FICO score and specifically your mortgage scores, but take advantage of some type of credit reporting alert. I am so thankful. If you guys aren't familiar with annualcreditreport.com, that is a website that you can go to to get your credit report. Now, typically they give you one free credit report per year and you get the report from all three bureaus, but because of the pandemic, you're able to get your credit report for free once a week. And so I am so thankful for annualcreditreport.com and that's something that's set up through the government. And so it is legitimate. Take advantage of annualcreditreport.com. Be aware, know what's on your credit report because errors and mistakes happen and I don't want you to find out when it's too late I want you to be proactive the Bible says in Proverbs 4 and 7 that wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and of all that getting get understanding I want you to understand what is on your credit report I want you to understand your credit scores, specifically your mortgage credit scores. I want you to understand what is going on in those Federal Reserve Board meetings. I want you to understand when they are and what's expected to occur as a result of those meetings and how those decisions that they make will affect possibly your interest rate. I want you to get that understanding so that you can be proactive and not reactive. And that is how we take our peace and we give God the pieces. Can you see?